Good morning, MMTs. It's 5.55 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, date 10-31-2011. So we have the date right. We know it's a Monday morning. We know it's a huge gap down list on here on the NYSE gap open down. Let's just take a look at how long it is. For crying out loud, it starts up here and it goes down here. The qualifier is 1.00. That equals one dollar in the ratio. So one point zero zero equals a dollar. We know it. Now that is it right there. So that is not the market that you would see in normal bull rallies on a Monday. You would have a gap up and the bull raid would still continue against the bear. That didn't happen. What is happening though is that the indexes are all at key major resistance levels and there's lots of headline news circulating. And it's going to be a very, very, very heavy economic week. There's going to be an FOMC meeting. The Chicago PMI uh, is out. We'll talk about that later. The ISM index is going to be tomorrow morning. They've got to get that number hotter to the upside, all right, um, because that's going to be important. And the number needs to come in so that it would support to pull that bull off of the sideline within the um, roller coaster gap is that it's a bear raid gap by the length of it. We're still heavily in the earnings season, but that's the NYSE. The gap open up on the NYSE, on the other hand, you only have two. You got CP and HUM, $1.44, and I'll bet it's earnings related. Um, so basically we have uh, some things that are working too. That's not the kind of bull gap that you want. That's not a bull gap. There's no long list. That concludes the NYSE. Once again, I'm going to go back to this gap open down list and IDT is leading the way. MasterCard is second. Then we have BHP, that's one of those names, probably is earnings related now. And DB, well, check that one out, plug that in there. Okay, so I'll look at all of these commodity type names that rallied last week but are giving up their gains. Look at Rio, RIO, all right? Look at Salesforce, CRM, look at the Walter Industries. These are the ones, uh oh, here's Cummings that had rallied up on that great story out of uh, China last week that things were better and they weren't as weak as anticipated. However, it appears to me that this is more of a bear raid than a bull raid against it. So what is it? You can see how long this list goes. It goes a long ways. Okay. FCX is in here. It had rallied last week. IBM is in here, down at dollar fifty-five. Okay, Caterpillar minus one point seven five. It's important to understand that sixty percent of the program trading does occur here and now in the actual pre-market futures. That's the market we're in right now. It's the pre-market futures along with heavy, heavy economic data coming out. You got the unemployment number on Friday. You got the ADP coming up. Um, you have lots of things that can move this market that are all headline driven, of course. The biggest one is Europe. Remember, what started last week's rally, which was the exhaustion part up to those resistance areas, is, is that we're clearly seeing reversals across the board, broad based in the NYSE. This is a very long uh, gap down list. And we see that these kinds of gap down lists occur when there is a major change because what it is that the pre-market futures value is taking these names down that rallied last week. Some of the ones that had been beaten up here, you got Cleveland Cliffs in here, got Goldman Sachs in here, got, like I said, IBM. These left elbow gap downs will move off the bottom. That concludes the NYSE pre market at 600 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today's date, Happy Halloween, 1031, 2011.